there's a lot of matchup experience in this, but it doesn't mean necessarily that he's winning. DDD actually does pretty good against Yoshi because Yoshi may have the double jump armor, but DDD takes forever to die. So even though you could combo him like crazy, at higher percents, Yoshi only kills a back air pretty much, or, a raw, or like a straight up up smash. So once you get out of that window, DDD will be much better because then he can kill you with straight up aerials and he has a really good disjoint in that uh, huge hitbox with the hammer. Way, way better than having to kill with that back air from Yoshi. So it's going to be on Suarez to try and get good lead traps, get good spikes if he can off the egg toss. He likes using it to two frame a lot to get a fair. Otherwise, he's going to be struggling to get the kill. He does play against Adamisk often. I believe the last time they played, though, at hold the line, Adamisk won. So let's see how things go here. D3 will not afraid of tough players and tough matchups as we've seen thus far. He's going to go go in with, and got the hometown crowd on his side. Nothing better than that. But Suarez off to a, a rousing start here, 73% right out the gate. Yeah, and keeping it going too. One thing that can work very well for Yoshi is he can combo DDD like crazy. It is so easy at low percents to get him to this point. There's that egg toss let's talk about two frame at the ledge. And luckily the Had no the choice to parry there. Had absolutely no choice, but the parry that down B would have shield broken otherwise. So wisely done by D3 Will. Keeps himself in the game, but gets the egg reflects the Gordo back into DDD and it's going to cost the stock early. Honestly, I think that's the best situation that could have happened to Suarez there because if he doesn't die to that Gordo there, he was at like 150, so it's back here time. And it's going to be a lot harder to get the kill, but straight to 90% to it. He's keeping it going, only taking 47% so far on the first stock. That hammer is big. It's a big hammer. You don't want to mess with that hammer at all. <laughs> it's got a big star. It's got Yoshi's <laughs> name right on it. Rich, look, Bullet Witch name on it, Hammer Witch name on it. I want nothing to do with DDD right now. He's trying to find that Nair opener to get the up air, get some damage. And I think I think one good stray back air will get him deep enough off stage that he can set up a ledge trap that will lead to the stock court. Oh, actually go for down throw. A down throw forward air. And nope. challenging him on the startup doesn't even let him get the chance to go for the double jump armor. Yeah, not not giving him a chance to do much of anything there with the back air coming in. The crowd getting his, the crowd back on his side, making the stocks even, but it's a lot of percent. DD yeah, in a good position though. MDVA is out here big time today. He's the, they are they are big chilling. What do you want to see out of D3 Will from what you've seen in the past that could get him back into this? Oh my goodness, taking the egg and still not still not dying off the top. Well, I feel like the matchup here on Smash Kill is not very variable. Uh, Yoshi definitely can just keep egging those those Gordos back in DDD's face, and it's very difficult to deal with. So he, he's gonna have he out of combo any kind of combos at all. So he, everything is gonna have to be straight hits, tit for tat, work his way back into the match, one thing at a time. Not like that. I would say that's not. <laughs> If he hit, I would lose Ooh. my mind if he did it. I would I, lose my mind if he hit it. But. I would have lost my mind if he caught him with that forest match there, too. Like, sometimes you got to go for the big play. Oh, what a follow-up. 43% off the egg leg. It is still going 69% off of one egg leg. Nice. Nice. <laughs> now it's 75. He's just keeping it going. And if there's one thing I'm really, like, glad to see Suarez doing right now in this matchup that may, he's kind of faulted in others oh. is Air he's dodge. playing patient. Yeah, very patient. Got his jump caught by the down smash there, the back air. All right, this is this, this is reasonable. This it's is doable for the hometown doable. hero. Yeah, the crowd once again popping off over there. Like with uh, like I'm surprised I don't hear a lot of try said either. Like, they're so split, they're everywhere. But Suarez has a decent lead. The problem is though that Yoshi can struggle to kill at these higher percents. He's got to find it soon. Got to find it very soon. A forward air would be very nice for Suarez right now, but. Can D3 Will bring this back and take down another Tri-State Gauntlet? What a call to know that he's going to attack the back roll, gets the jab, gets the down throw, gets the up air, and Suarez closes out game number one. I hear Tri-State now, and that was incredibly smart because he wanted that jab block, but even after he missed the jab block on the tech chase, he still had the immediate follow-up to get the throw. That was so important because I feel like D3 Will put up shield out of fear, like, oh, you just went for jab block. You might be, you might just automatically go for up smash on like a flow chart habit from a jab block, and he got him with the grab. That was really good from Suarez. Still incredible adjustments from D3. Well, I think the biggest thing is those backers being on point off stage. He's got to find a way to get the damage first, though, if he wants to see himself take this back. Yep, I, I agree. And Suarez now in 
in, in a probably a much larger stage here. So D3 Will is going to like that position. He wants to have that big stage. He'll have a lot of room to work, a lot of room to deal with. If Yoshi's going to hit those Gordos back with the eggs, mm -hmm. then he can get out of the way quickly. Yeah, and he's the, the, you were right. DDD is going to live forever here on Kalos. And it's a lot easier to have a mix-up away from those egg tosses at the platform to try and go to the higher one. Suarez... Uh, try, trying to start things off hot the similar way, and Yoshi can live a while too because he's also pretty heavy, but DDD's killing him significantly earlier. Indeed. And D3 Will has been using the Gordo angles to tr try and mix things up. There's a couple ways you can toss Gordos. You can th toss them at different speeds and different angles a little bit. I think there's three different ways you can throw them. So uh, he's trying to mix up how he does it. That short one is one of the ways. But in general, it's been a you know kind of a unique challenge for D3 Will to get in on Yoshi. Suarez had, is saying, you come to me, this is my, my game. I don't care that I'm down a percent, you, you still need to come to me and get my stock off first. Oh, he just missed that up smash. Down that down air is not going to kill on Kalos, but, but many, oh wow, okay, I, thought, I thought that was a down air, not a forward air. I was about to pop off, what a call. But 125 to 147, it's D3 Will, is he's looking for the startup of Egg Toss, because we've seen that quite a few times. But anti-air up to is also a really good choice, but he gets caught by forward air, finally. Suarez getting things under control once again. 138% though, an up tilt could do the job, a down tilt could do the job. Just about anything in the DD arsenal, but wait a minute, he calls, calls the air dodge. D3 Will is gonna have to jump back to the stage. Suarez unable to get a big punish though. Many other characters, that's a stock because they're immediately covering it, but he covers it anyways. The, air, the forward air was always on its way. And now Suarez three stocks up to one with a game up on Kalos. He's gonna live a lot longer. This is looking really good for Suarez to move forward and to lose the side of things. And Suarez looking to make top 32 a glitch for yet another time. He's been here plenty of times before. A different challenge each time, but it doesn't matter who steps up to the plate. The Yoshi is on deck and ready to handle the challenge and is on the verge of a three stock for Suarez, making Yoshi look like an incredibly offensive character. And doing a really good job there on controlling him on landings, but D3 Real finally finds the back here. The crowd trying to get him amped up once again. And he's just, Suarez has been just so evasive, Tant. Like he's uh, just doing such a good job of getting away from yeah, him. Yeah, I don't know how to tell the crowd this, but uh, you got, you know. You guys might might not have too much longer to cheer. <laughs> <laughs> it might be over for you. You always got to hold out hope, the eternal optimist. Hope for your boy to make that big upset, especially the hometown heroes. Oh, get spit the egg at him. You know, why not? You have one of these. That thing was raw. It was nasty. These eggs are delicious. <laughs> Here you go. Here comes the Gordo. You never give up. And D3 will not giving up the term. Suarez missing the jab lock there. It's going for the no tech jab to get a forward smash. Did not work out though. Gonna get the egg leg. He's he getting so much damage off those egg legs too. And like now he's at, now he's at F tilt up air percent too. Now now it makes it a little bit easier for Suarez to get it because DDD's so big, it's still capable of getting KO. Up smash, not enough, but somehow still holding on to the stock. If he gets a back here at ledge, we could be looking at a very large deficit, but he can make a comeback. All right. Well, he's gotta get this stock off first before he can think about the comeback. One stock at a time, back there gonna get a good percent. Here we go, back air. All right, all right, well, don't make me look stupid here. I counted you out about a minute ago. Suarez smacked, <laughs> this is Suarez smacked his leg too. He's like, come on, like wake up. And this is, here's back air fish percent. This is all you have, falling up air and back air. You can't, it's not really much anything else, but the back air finally finds his mark. He gets him on a jump off stage and Suarez is able to take it out. NY versus MDVA, NY popping off in the background. Great run from D3 Will. Tech getting that W on Leon, like you said before, but it does come to a close here finally and lose your side, and, yep. D and that's going to be the Suarez. Looks like it was 30, 30, 33rd place for D3 Will. A good showing, but you know, after beating Leon, you, you, you know, that is hard. That's hard pill to swallow because you know that feels like a fluke more than a you know a, I had a really good run, right? You mm -hmm. you want to keep that momentum going. It was very close though. Uh, good good comeback nonetheless. But Suarez moves in the top 32. A very impressive run and our run.